Hi guys, thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. It's Monday, it's a good Monday. It's actually like a two cup of coffee Monday because this is number two. It's gonna be a busy day. So forewarning, everyone's up in my house and they're all trying to get dressed. So if you hear some crazy arguing in the background, you know why. I've warned everybody, but I cannot control it. So um, it is going to be a great week and I have something I'm super excited about because I love it when God just breaks in randomly. You know, he speaks to me randomly, like out of the blue, not in a time when I'm like, have prepared myself like in quiet time and worship, but just like a break in random. So I'm on my way to church. It takes us about 30 minutes to get there and I'm riding and I'm kind of doing the morning, just stare out into the pastures as I go. And I'm anticipating spring. Anybody who knows me knows that I am not a fan of winter. A lot of people, my husband is a fan of winter, but I am not. And so I have to force myself and renew my mind to keep a good attitude all winter long. So, but I'm anticipating spring. You know, it was warm here yesterday and, and I'm excited and I'm looking at the trees and it amazed me that on a day that's warm, they don't just like, oh, it's warm. Let's just go ahead and bloom. Because they know that when we have those days of warm, like it's supposed to snow later in the week, that they don't do that because they would die because it could get cold again. And they know the exact time to bloom that it's time. And so um, I'm staring out the window, thinking about the trees and just excited about spring. And the Lord breaks in and starts speaking in my heart about this. And... Um, there are so many prophetic words out there about 2020 bringing new, new, new stuff, you know, new vision. And, and I'm excited about that too. And, you know, he's speaking to me about how the church is as a whole is anticipating great things in 2020. And that is 100% right on. We're excited about it. But, um, you know, what he started to speak afterwards, I think, is a timely word. He said that the church is like this right now. So if new life and, and, and new growth and all these things just would happen, the churches aren't prepared to handle it. They're not prepared to handle mass amounts of life transformation, you know. And so that, um, that the dormant time should be a time of preparation. So... He was like, and I'm going to look at my little notebook because I loved it. It was so abrupt that I, that I started taking notes. I started writing it down so I didn't forget one word that he was speaking. But he said, church, prepare for the harvest. Prepare to steward new life and new growth. Don't just anticipate it, but let that anticipation turn into preparation. And so I think that's a word. Who's the church? When he says church, I know that it's not just a word for me, myself. Who's the church? It's you and me. If you're in Christ, you're the church. And so I believe he needs us to prepare for this new life, prepare to be able to steward it. I mean, we, you know, in our churches, we pray for so many are like revival, revival, but we don't have enough people that will stay days and days and change the toilet paper out for sheer mass amounts of people. This is what he's talking about. Prepare. You know, people need to be able to be discipled and loved on and help to grow up. And do we have enough people to do that? I don't know because it's hard to get anyone to be a door greeter. And so, um, this is what I felt in my spirit. So let the time of anticipation, don't just turn to, I'm excited about what God's doing, but a time of preparation to prepare yourself, to prepare your churches, to steward this new life and new growth that God is going to do new things in 2020. And so I'm excited about that. And I'm excited that the Lord is just letting us know, Hey, you need to prepare. This anticipation is great, but you need to prepare. So I'm sharing with you what he laid on my heart and just interrupted the day with, and I was excited, and I want you to have a great day. I'm praying for you, and I will talk to you tomorrow.